What's up guys, Emerson from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the SHL instruction, so let's get started. Now the SHL instruction performs a logical left shift on the destination operand, filling the lowest bit with a zero, and the highest bit gets moved to the carry flag. So whatever was in the carry flag before gets discarded, so I'll show you how that works right now. So this is the syntax of a SHL instruction here. We start off by typing in SHL, that's our instruction, we hit space, we type in our destination operand, comma, then we type in our count. Our count will move the bits over. So if you have a count of one, well, one bit will be moved over, or, or would be shift over to the left, basically. We, our count could be anything we want, so I'll show you how that works right here. So let, let's pretend our destination operand had a value of one, right? This, so this is a binary 8-bit value of one. Let's say we used the SHL destination, this is the results of the SHL instruction, right? Our lowest bit, this is our lowest bit, gets moved, it gets a uh, zero, everything gets moved over, right? And then uh, this zero gets moved to the CF register and everything else gets shifted over one. And then the, again, the lowest bit gets a zero. So this would be our answer here, it would be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, zero, right? It would be, this would be our answer and this is a two. So how, how, we can figure out our answer by using a mathematical equation, right? So the, the way this works is our value of our destination operand. Here we have a value of 1. It depends on the value, whatever value you give it, right? It's the value of the destination operand times 2 to the n power. And that's our answer. The n power, I mean the n, is the count, whatever we put as the count. I, I use the count of 1. But you can have a count of 2, 3, doesn't matter, right? So again, let's, let's start from the top. Uh, the value of the destination operand, which is 1, right? So 1 times 2 to the n, n being the count, right? So 2 to the uh, 1 power would be a 2, right? So so basically it's 1 times 2, and our answer equals 2. And as you can see, this is the binary version of 2. So let's test it out in MU8086 here. So let's open this up here. Let's close this and open up another window. Okay. Let's open up another window here. Okay, so we got to move something to a destination operand. I want to use AX as our destination operand, so I'm going to move into AX the value of 1, because I'm going to uh, repeat this example, but you know, I'm going to show you how it works in a program, right? So now we're going to use the SHL instructions. We're going to type in SHL, that's our instruction. We hit space. Then we're going to type in our destination operand, which is AX right here, right? Now we got to give it a count, right? We want it to count. Again, we used one before, but you can make it two, three, whatever. It depends on how many bits you want it to shift over. So I'm going to use a count of one. So again, we know our answer was two. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit emulate here, right? So right now it's highlighting our first instruction, move into AX to value of one. Once I hit single step, AX should have a value of one. I'm going to hit single step. As you can see, AX now has a value of one. So now it's highlighting our second instruction, the SHL instruction here. So so we SHL'd the AX register because the AX is our destination and we, and we used the count of one. So it's going to shift over one bit. So our, our answer should be two. So let's hit single step. And as you can see, AX now has a value of two. Let's, let's try something else out here. So I'm going to show you guys how it works here again. All, 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 that, all that's happening is since we're using a count of one, right? Uh, our lowest bit should be changed to a zero, right? Our other bits are going to be moved forward, and then our highest bit is going to be moved into CF. And whatever was in CF before gets deleted, so that's how we got two. If we had a count of two, uh, the highest, the, um, so if we use a count of two, these two bits would be uh, zero, the one would be here, and everything would be shifted over, and then our highest bit would be moved into CF again. So let's test that out right now. So let's use a count of two, right? So we're going to use a count of two, but let me show you what, what the answer. So let me show you what the answer would be. So, so this would be a one here. So we know this here. Let's find out what a value in binary this binary number is here. So let's copy this. I'm going to open up this web page here, and this is a binary conversion binary to decimal to hexadecimal converter. And I'm going to leave the link in my description if you guys are interested, but let's paste this onto this binary here so we know what the decimal version of this would be. So let's hit, actually, this is not it. Let's type in 1. 
So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight bits, right? So let's hit let's hit enter here and see why. And it's a four, right? So we know this is a four here. So let's test it out in the program. So if we use a count of two and our destination has a value one, the answer should be four. So again, we have a value of one in our destination, right? So the value times two to the n and will give us our answer, the n being the count. So if we use the count of two, so so one times two to the second power, two times two is four. So one times four is four. So that's how we got our answer. So let's test it out here. Again, we, we changed a count of one to a count of two. Let's hit emulate. Our first line of code is highlighted here, moving to AX to value one. Once I hit single step, AX should have a value of one and AX now has a value of one. Our second line of code is highlighted, SHL, right? And uh, we want to SHL our destination, which is AX. AX has a value of one, remember? And uh, we use the count of two. So let's see, see what happens. I'm gonna hit single step. And now, as you can see, AX has a value of four now. So that's that's pretty cool, right? So that's pretty much it. That's how that works. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RustinMertech.com and thanks for watching.